ramifications, especially of a resignation or impeachment. But there's also a media aspect to this scandal because the governor's brother hosts his own cable news show on a competing network, otherwise known as CNN. Our next guest just wrote a piece for the Washington Post calling for CNN to investigate Chris Cuomo, who's going to be off the air for at least one week. With that, we bring in Eric Wemple, Washington Post media critic. You see the headline right there, CNN must investigate Chris Cuomo. Uh, Eric, uh, Cuomo says he's on a long planned birthday week vacation this week. Do you believe him? I do believe that. I mean, he has a history of going off in August. August is obviously a popular time for vacation. Uh, I, I believe that. Mm -hmm. Well, you and I are both working. I guess the, the question would be to flip that, <laughs> to flip that around. Uh, in any other situation, uh, if you were the, the subject of such intense scrutiny and had a vacation plan, wouldn't you might think about canceling it just to not have the questions that we're asking right now? Well, that's certainly an option for the for for the network, right? To say, well, you know, people are going to speculate. Let's let's focus on that. Let's show them that we're confident in you. Um, but of course, you know, again, I believe that his birthday is this week, and that he often takes off his birthday. So I, I'm not too much for you know managing to optics. I think if you were planning on taking a vacation, you take a vacation, and a week will pass. And if he's back on the air. You know, he's back on the air, which I fully expect. All right, so we'll know a week today. You say you fully expect, but based on the article you wrote, you think there should be some serious questions asked before he comes back on the air. Oh, undoubtedly. And as he comes back in the air, I think that CNN should hire one of the, these outside law firms, commission investigation into what Chris Cuomo knew, when he knew it, what role he played in, what exact role he played in helping the governor to push against, push back against these sexual harassment allegations. Mm -hmm. We know through the report and through uh, the reporting of the Washington Post and the Albany Times Union that Chris Cuomo was part of an informal advisory group. Well, a formal slash informal slash formal, there were people on the outside of the government and inside government that were helping uh, Governor Cuomo find his way through these allegations and craft his message as these allegations piled up. Chris Cuomo was part of that group. Yeah, and but, so but, he crossed but Eric, Eric, Chris, CNN has Brian Stelter. Why would they need an outside investigator when they have Brian Stelter? Listen to him. Well, because the CNN... This has been a conundrum for CNN that has no perfect answer, no perfect solution. The issue is whether Chris can continue to do his job, continue to be trusted by the audience. Clearly, the leaders of the CNN think so. But ultimately, that's up to you. That's up to the people who tune in or don't every night. Go ahead. That was a low point, that was a low point for Brian Stelter. I felt that he uh, completely towed the uh, CNN PR line on this whole thing. He minimized the ethical dimensions of this crisis. He minimized what Chris Cuomo did here in helping his brother try to respond uh, to these allegations. He, this was a, a complete whitewash. And um, it's a low for that particular program and perhaps for the network. So uh, real, real quick, yeah. Eric, I've, I've only got about 30 seconds, but I wanted to get this in you. You used to call out Fox News Channel, a place I used to work right. and was honored to have been there for that blurry line between what was perceived as between Fox News Channel and the Trump administration. Is there a blurry line between CNN and the Democratic establishment that was the Cuomo machine? Well, there's clearly no line between Chris Cuomo and Andrew Cuomo, and yeah. there should have been. A lot of people are saying, hey, you know, this is his brother. No, he was participating in workplace calls with the administration to help his brother. This is completely out of hand, completely out of line, right. uh, and there's no excuse for it. And CNN needs to know what, what happened here. I think they don't know what happened here. Well, that's, that's, an, that's an interesting point, because I had come on and defended Chris Cuomo and said, you know, if my sister needed help, I would try to help as well. But to your point, the network has a right to know exactly what happened, when he knew, right. and what he knew, uh, and when and, did he and know it. And it's something more than just informal, you know, yeah, conversation. Yeah, no, it has to be, no, it has to be something actually that is independent. Eric, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.